Social media destroying our brain. Addicted generation. Getting a victimized on social media. Social media. Social media. What it's doing to you. And it was anxiety inducing. Hi guys, it's Debbie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about social media. Honestly, I've done similar videos to this before, but this time I'm trying challenges this year. So instead of just talking about social media and its impact, I actually wanted to try going without my social media for a month. Because why just talk the talk when I can walk the walk? So in the next couple of videos that you guys are going to see is my full month experience of trying my life without social media, specifically Instagram, which is my main choice of social media. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. I've been trying to film this all day, but I didn't want to put on makeup. I put on eyebrows for you guys. Appreciate it. So it is day one and you know, it's not as hard as I thought. I have reflected reflexively checked the app twice already just by like sitting down I naturally open it up and go to the spot where it should be I removed it from my home screen I didn't completely delete it as in I got rid of my Instagram but I removed it from my home screen and then took off the notifications <laughs> I honestly should have showed you guys that process but I'm really bad <laughs> at remembering to film things as I'm doing them, so I'll just always recap you guys on things. I hope you don't mind. It's easier overall right now for me because we're on break, so I'm able to spend my time in other ways. So I think this is going to get a lot harder when it comes to working because sometimes you only have like five minutes, ten minutes in between meetings. You're not going to step away necessarily from your desk, but you would be able to have the chance to just scroll through Instagram. Instagram is my mindless thing. A lot of the reasons that I wanted to try this is because I was getting, I, I'm already addicted to Instagram and I'm embarrassed of the fact that I am. I, I, I wanted to do this for a little while, decided that January 1st was a wonderful deadline to do so, um, but I was really embarrassed of the amount of uh, reliance that I have on the system. Is it just for scrolling through movies TV shows that I'm watching like I don't know if you guys do that when you have the big screen playing and then you're just on your phone So you're really only watching like 40% or 60% or something like that not a hundred percent of What's on the screen that you sat down to watch because you're like, oh, well, let me just look at their stories or oh, well, let's See what new pretty pictures come in. I don't know. It was just a lot and I noticed myself being very prone to opening it five, six times, 17 times a day. Opening it five, six times, 17 times a day. And I, I, I was getting tired of that. I think that number could even be higher than that, to be honest. It could be like 25, 50, I don't know. I used to open it a lot. And you know it's bad when you get to the point where it's only got like three new posts and then underneath it's like suggested posts okay. because you've looked at all the posts for the past like 48 hours or however the algorithm works. I know I've talked about this so many times, but like I, I kept comparing myself to people that I followed. And I know I've said like follow people that represent you or reflect who you wanna be and that kind of thing. But there is also just fun in following people who have like the jazzy glamorous lifestyles that you don't have and you're not likely to ever have. For example, there's a girl who looks like a Barbie doll. I swear, every time she posts, amazing, beautiful woman, but she, she just looks like a Barbie doll. So it's fun to see like the clothes that she's wearing. I don't know. And then you start comparing yourself. I look at all these girls' stomachs because that's an area that I'm insecure about. And they look so cute. But I don't think I'll ever look like that because they, they're so different than me, but I can't help but compare myself to them because that's what's on my feed constantly. But I identified Instagram as the main social media that I want to take away for those two reasons. Also, I don't have very many social media accounts that I use actively. I don't use Facebook. I think I got rid of my Twitter in like after high school. I, I never use TikTok. And then YouTube. Those are the only social medias besides Instagram that I use often. And YouTube is my hobby, so I'll likely still be using that, but I'm trying very hard to use it as less as I can, just because that also gets very mindless, where you just get down the rabbit hole of like 
click after click and then suddenly you're watching like Fox videos. <laughs> so this was the main thing that I thought that I could remove myself from that would help my mental health because it was going very downhill in this cold time where you can't really go outside and do things or explore. I mean, the very little that you could do while being in quarantine anyways. Today is okay because I can watch TV, I can reorganize my closet 15 times if I want, I can work out like I did, that's why I'm pink. All in ways of distracting myself with fun things that I love doing. But I think when it comes to watching TV um, and watching movies and then work, it's gonna be really difficult for me because I'm so used to just mindlessly flipping to it. Wish me luck during this time. I'm not gonna make you sit through a long explanation every single time, but I'm just providing some insight as to where I'm at. And I don't know how I'm gonna do for the next 30 days. It was only day four, but there have been some things socially that are going on and politically. So there have been the riots at the Capitol, um, and it's killing me that I don't have my Instagram because I can't really keep up to date unless I'm relying on a news source or YouTube. So YouTube is not always as fast though as people on Instagram. It's a little bit frustrating to feel out of the loop in this way and to not really know what's going on. Okay, I guess I'll rely on the old fashioned way. It's been a week and yes, I know I have these thoughts on my face. Just ignore them, I'm trying to make them better and they're healing after getting hurt. Anyways, so it's been a week since I stopped using Instagram and I kid you not, this, this is gonna sound ridiculous, but I feel like my days are longer when I'm not looking at Instagram all day. I feel like I'm actually like invested in what's going on around me. I don't feel like I'm constantly moving from one thing to another thing, so that's definitely helped my anxiety. I will say it's been a little bit difficult not being able to check and check in with things or even like update you guys on stuff. For example, I shot this entire video as a reaction to my first video and I think I'm actually going to delete it because it's caused a lot of like heartache for me because a lot of those things are not settled yet. So while editing it, I got really upset and um, usually I would just like tell people on Instagram, on my like social media and stuff, and in some ways that would help my confidence a little bit, maybe to post it, but since I'm not sourcing a crowd on this, <laughs> I think I'm gonna delete it because it doesn't feel good for my mental health and I don't need to put something out there that's gonna make me feel bad and is almost a permanent reminder. I'm not really missing Instagram. I'm really not. I mean, I was upset about this in the beginning because I thought that like, my friends who are in South Korea and my friends who are not nearby, I usually keep in contact with them through social media. And I can't now unless I'm going to text them or call them. But I, I don't really talk to them that often in the end. Um, so this one week has been fine. I've been finding other things to fill my time like baking and actually cleaning and organizing and stuff like that. So maybe it makes me a productive human being after all to not have social media. Like I said, though, it feels weird to be disconnected, though, especially when all these political crazy events are going on right now. Like, I took photos. We went to this really nice place. Um, I'll put them in here. It's called the Rainbow Bridge. And I took all these beautiful photos on my camera, my, like, actual camera, not my phone camera. And I didn't have anywhere to share them other than, like, with my two best friends who I'm always texting. And that felt weird felt weird to not have that validation and then later in the week I was talking to my parents and they were asking us what we did and I was like oh we went to this bridge but like they hadn't seen it so then I shared it with them but it didn't I almost had forgotten that I hadn't shared it so like I didn't feel like that was really missing if that makes sense I don't know if it makes sense but either way day seven going strong See how the rest of this time goes and if I end up wanting Instagram back. Let's see. Anything to report this week? Mm, same old, same old. It's kind of hard to connect with people. A lot of my friends are not nearby who I usually connect with online and that's difficult. I took a bunch of cool pictures. Couldn't share that with anybody but my like very good friends. So it was a little weird. You know, what's the value of taking photos, right? 
Is it to remember it? Yes. Is it to share it with people and count your likes? Is it important if I just share it to the people that I'm closest with? I feel like, yes, and it's weird, but without it, I don't really notice a difference. I've watched a bunch of junk on YouTube. Um, I've also read books, though, so there's that. And I've taken less time to just sit and be peaceful, and that's really annoying. Like, you want to lessen your screen time. You want to take, like, at least five minutes without being on your phone. Um, I don't feel like I do that very well because it's, like, phone, TV, laptop. Yeah, look up things for people, which is weird. It's big for a difference in my life other than the connections and updates and getting my ego stroked almost for photos that are pretty cool but it's lessened my anxiety um it's lessened my need to take photos wherever i go i still do because i, I genuinely like photographs I do feel pretty isolated though a friend reach out um because i just like dropped off the face of the planet doing this and it's also weird because i keep thinking of like oh my youtube stuff i need to update this i I need to make this thumbnail, I need to do this and that and the other, and I don't have to do that because it's only through YouTube. I don't feel like channels are successful unless you have another social media supporting it, um, like Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, that kind of thing. Because people don't really rely on YouTube, who would be around my age, to get the most of their information. I think I'm a little bit weird in that way that I go on YouTube that often. I don't know, comment down below how many times you go on YouTube a day. I wonder even if anybody will have noticed besides like that one friend that I have who's pretty intuitive and my other friends who know that I'm taking this break. I don't know. I don't know if people are going to care or if I come back and it's like no activity. I think I need to be better this week about not being on YouTube. Like I can't just take one addiction and transfer it to another addiction. <laughs> I just forgot to update you guys on Sunday. Uh, I will say though that I just released a video for the first time um, like 10 minutes ago I had it scheduled for. So I don't know how things are going to perform. I expect they're not going to perform well because you guys don't know because I usually advertise on my Instagram. But it'll be an interesting trial test. What do you call it? Experiment to see what will um, happen. So I'm looking forward to seeing if anybody actually pays attention. I don't think anyone will because my subscriber percentage of watching videos is usually under 10% of the people who watch it. But I will believe in you guys and I'll be back online next week. So, and I'll be posting this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will say the only thing that I'm missing is when I take a really good selfie. I have nowhere to put it, but I'm not missing it all. I'm grateful to have been taking this time to relax. It's officially over. I am back on Instagram and I was really worried about downloading it. I actually pushed it off until this afternoon to download Instagram again because <laughs> I don't know. I just didn't have an interest in getting it back. The only thing that it is good for is just marketing for me. Otherwise it's like, you know, just an ego boost and I feel like I've been really healthy this month without Instagram and I'm almost sad that I have to put it back on my phone now. <laughs> I don't have to obviously but I want to because I did notice after I posted the video I got almost no views on that video. Um, I got eight views which is more than I was expecting but I can't say a lot of them were real views. I'm sure there were bots and I just didn't get to do a lot of advertising for it so yeah. That's kind of weird. I look back on my Instagram already and I'm like, who is she? Like all these photos where I'm like December and I feel like I'm a different person already, to be honest. I feel like I'm like stepping back into like an old pair of jeans or something like that too because I'm looking through the timeline and I was like, dang, like these are pretty awesome photos. Even if people don't like them, they're pretty good photos. And you know, this vibe isn't really who I am anymore. I can see that I'm like trying hard, I guess. I'm kind of over that. Kind of over trying hard and I just want to enjoy social media. I don't want to have to worry about 
if I look right and if I'm keeping up with the newest things. I realize that like even some influencers that I like, I haven't been keeping up with them because I'm not on Instagram and they haven't been posting videos. It's just weird. I wonder if anybody will even notice that I was gone. Probably not. Maybe they'll notice once I post this. <laughs> Overall, like Instagram is not the end all be all and you'll survive without it. Trust me, I did it. Social media, unfortunately part of our lives, it is what we do and you will likely find yourself tethered to it one way or another so just make sure it doesn't encompass your whole life or every single second of your day make sure you're making time to take breaks maybe even take notifications off your social media if it will help you i'm not going to be too preachy to you guys about the lessons that i learned obviously you could see what i was learning while i was learning it had to do a lot with my ego and the way that i saw myself reflected in social media i will say however don't be afraid to challenge yourself to do this stuff i honestly was embarrassed about doing this entire challenge because i grew up in an age where we didn't have social media so being without my social media for the first time should be something that i should be comfortable with but I wasn't. But that's okay. Challenge yourself. Get outside of your norm and do something new for your health, mental health, physical health, whatever it may be. Try something new this year and know you're not alone because you're doing it with me. Know you guys are very much loved as always. Bye.